I've thought a lot about what I would promise you today, but nothing in life is promised. Not forever, not tomorrow, just today. So I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get our good days and our bad days. I get to be there for you and put you first when you're the last thing on your mind. I get to adventure with you and weather the storm with you. I get to have you and to hold you. I get to have faith in you and pray with you. I don't have to vow to love you because it's a privilege that I get to. Standing here today with you is my greatest privilege and I will pray for all of my tomorrows with you. I gotta follow that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you by moonlight when I go blind. It's a lovely thing to see things through your eyes. It's a lovely thing to see things through your eyes. like having a shot of bourbon. She is bold <laughs> and she is intense. <laughs> With her by your side, you feel brave and ready for any adventure. If Nikki is bourbon, Ross is bitters in a sugar cube. <laughs> he compliments her pizzazz in all the right ways. Ross is classy and robust. He is reliable and downright sweet. I don't know if I could have handpicked someone more perfect. Ross is like the most genuine, loyal, good, guy I have ever met in my entire life. Ross, you love Nikki's incredible work ethic and her constant curiosity to find out what's next. Because of Nikki, you have stepped outside of your comfort zone and know that you can tackle a lot together. Nikki, you love that Ross is selfless and kind, putting others before himself. You love how he puts you at ease. You are grateful for his support, his ability to make you laugh, his dedication and consistency. He is your rock. Your helping hand, it sets me free. Oh, darling, you are so good to me. You are so good to me. Ross has never really been interested in what anyone else's idea for what his life should look like, what he should do. He's always been in command of his life. If there's a genuineness, an earnestness, and you're gonna take what's personally fulfilling and you're gonna pursue it to its end. And to that end, into his life walks Nicole Marjorie Anik. Ross identified what was important and he went after it. And now here we all are. You met on a dating app right before you, Nikki, were planning to move to Boston. Even though dating someone long distance wasn't exactly what either of you had expected, you sensed on that first day, after an hour of coffee and conversation, that you had met someone unusual, unique, and special. On January 7th, 2014, we met for coffee at the now extinct Caribou Coffee on M Street. It was so cold that day that you have admitted multiple times to almost bailing on coffee. I'm ecstatic that you didn't. When I left the coffee shop, it was 11 degrees and overcast, but in my head it was 75 and sunny. I 
I never dreamed I would meet someone like you in the middle of the city. Or that a southern city boy would brave a blind date on that brutally cold morning. When we met, I had my sights set on a new challenge, a new city, and a new life. I had landed my dream job and thought I was finally going to become a person to be admired. It wasn't until my walk back to the office that I felt there was a chance I was going to leave something behind. Never one to give up, you took the leap of faith and got on a plane for another chance. The years we spent apart were really hard, but the time we spent together was transformative. Although every day over the last six years, eight months and 27 days have not all been 75 and sunny, so to speak, the overwhelming majority have been. And on the sporadic stormy day, having you by my side made the storm pass quickly. You are gifted in a million ways. But the depth of your generosity and kindness and ability to be present showed me exactly the new life I wanted. I don't know that you ever realized that the person I admired the most was you. Even then, if I had to dream up a perfect life, it would not even come close to what we've created this far. Nothing in life is perfect. Neither one of us are, are, nor will our marriage be. But I will work to make sure every day we have together is as perfect as it can be. Whether that means laughing with you or crying with you, celebrating with you or struggling with you, arguing with you or dreaming with you, growing with you, learning with you, or sharing with you. The operative word in the last few sentences is with, and with you is where I want to be and how I want to experience the rest of life's adventures, however many we have left.
often uh, uh, characterized by one's background or culture or that sort of thing. Some say salute, and some say down the hatch. Uh, the Jewish tradition is to use the expression l'chaim. And l'chaim means to life. So, Nikki and Ross, to your happiness and your future, l'chaim. Take your heart away